what is up everybody welcome back to some more mafia 3 i hope you guys have been enjoying the playthrough uh we're picking up right where we left off we gotta talk to this guy over here who's i think is waiting for us or some shit who is this guy oh it's this dude that win just put my daughter through another year at school tom hey anything for the coladies well enjoy the moment but the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family I will not let the boss's day end this hourly. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find him. All right. This man's getting drunk out of his mind. Great race, champ. And no problem, champ. I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all race goers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Ah, hell no. Nah. Fucking prohibition. Great race, champ. Oh, God. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. Okay. This your first time at the track? Last year I heard the motors from my apartment would ignore us. The party won't stop. Oh, what's this over here? I'll take that. How'd you drive after the tuna? Tried to go sidelong at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? We came by five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. All right. Where the fuck is this guy? Where is Polly? I'd ask again that people please leave when requested and refrain from imbibing illicit substances. Let's not make it like last year, folks. <laughs> Hell no. Uh, is this him? I think him. Oh, thank Christ you're here. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Ah. This boy is drunk out of his mind. Cow says moo and the chicken says quack. What is the, the fuck is up with this guy? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. What a dick. Let's go, Jim. Okay. Now I gotta dr drive this motherfucker home, Elna. today Tommy with the, the driver I was right I was right when I found you you know what I said what did you say Polly I said this guy can drive Don Salieri this is a guy who can drive and here we are here we are right here that's where we are you put me to shame Tom Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got a doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the Don and your mind's racing. Then some bad shit, Tom. All in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Plank it out like Sam does. Go home to... Whoever the hell he goes home to. <laughs> Bali, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, well, why is this right. cop gonna be behind me, bro? You're right.
Tom, I want to go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies. Take me to the Blue Tropics. <laughs> I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over <clears> to <throat> the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. All right, now we're talking. Oh boy, you should see these dames, Tom. -hoo -hoo. I'll leave it to you to swim with the Barracudas, Bali. You're gonna have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? I don't know. It's there's a blue sign. I'm gonna need more than that. There's a blue sign, and it says Blue Tropics, and it's right near the docks. Ah, uh, home? Call me home. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's, yeah. You're listening Good to idea. WBDS, Barry yeah. Radio. Well, this is okay, the I'm gonna... Music Hour on WBDS. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah. Oh, no. I don't feel so good. <sighs> yeah, that's the call, Tom. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, uh, I ask maybe a small favor, huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk in my daughter room. Sarah? <laughs> the way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> uh, she's, uh, she's a tough. Uh, there's this uh, pack of boys near her place. Uh, the punks, you know, cattivi ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she gonna speak at the mind. Or maybe she says a somber thing they don't like. Things that get ugly. But if you working at home, this is a reminder this punk she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. <laughs> Benny on it. Benny. Benny. Sarah, time to close. <laughs> What's this then? Uh, Tom is. Uh, Tom's gonna take you. That's right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. Okay, all right. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. We gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Polly won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. You live here? Is there an apartment? Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. No one home, buddy. Oh, never mind. Sarah, that for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this, this has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. That right. You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone ah. talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. I 
Well, anyways, don't let me hold <laughs> What it, the fuck was that awkward pause? <laughs> All right. Have a great evening. What the nice. fuck was that? Wait, That's okay, off. Tommy. Oh my god. <clears throat> it's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Just smack that girl's ass. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good night for a walk anyway. Wow. Oh. Get yourself killed on my account, Tom. Oh. That's all you got? You spend all this time with the lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is "Good night for a walk, anyways." <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, Signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers. When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi, then you get the flowers. Yeah, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If he did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah. So now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Hey, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't catch the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... This then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh, damn, I missed again. Yeah! How'd I, how'd I punch again? I forgot to punch! No! Oh, Q, there we go. I got your asshole. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like this left alt one. I don't like left alt for fucking like dodge. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna. I'm changing this keybind. Uh, controls. Uh, sprint. Here we go. I can't change it to anything. Oh, I fucked around. Let me try this now. Uh, what? Hey, 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 hold it did, it, whoa, 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 whoa. Why didn't you save, asshole? I changed it. Hey, I meant that. And then that. There we go. Uh, Bitch. There we go. Look at this. Oh, I punched two of you one time. Fucking dickhead. There we go. Oh, he had a fucking knife. All right. We'll do that again. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Where are you going, there, sweet I'll press save for a sec. Billy Trey. Kind of dish, ain't you? Hey! 
Damn. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Oh. Oh yeah, that guy's has some serious problems. You're fucked. Fuck this guy. There we go. Fuck out of here. Get away from her. Oh. Bro, they're having a casual conversation. I thought he was actually like on our side. Oh yeah, <laughs> bitch, bitch, <laughs> bitch! Oh, you're an asshole. <laughs> bitch! <laughs> Fuck out of here! Hit him with a wooden plank, bro. That's what I got, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Damn. Oh. You got a good right hook. I'll give you that. Uh. You're bleeding. Come up to my place. I'll take a look. This guy should be embarrassed. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. Oh shit. The bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Uh. Go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Dan. Huh? <laughs> Take another. All right. You gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Cause I don't need the little old lady next door complaining at the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar would be something to remember you by, if nothing else. You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood. Oh. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. Myself, though. Okay, Tommy. All right. All right. That's nice. Our boy Tommy's winning.
This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking in the Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunt. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust these some heads. Alright. What's he gonna give me, I wonder? Hey, hey, here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Yeah, well, when I get me, that, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't want to pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust sets. That's all we need. Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and uh, autographed by Babe Ruth himself. The guy said, "I mean, it's horseshit, but." They bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. No, they won't. Thanks, Vinny. Bro didn't even grab all of them. He only grabbed two. Oh, I gotta meet this guy in Chinatown. Alright, let's grab, let's grab some wheels. Oh, hell no. Fuck that car. Yeah, you already know what I'm taking. How do we do the little... Is it H? Is it E? Oh, E's how to get out of the car. Was it Q? Was it R? Is it T? That crime is on the rise all over the state. X? Many commentators Z? are blaming the rise Z? in criminality, thievery, racketeering, and other gangsterism on the economic downturn and resulting social death. How do I how do I activate the fucking <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Hold on, I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, I figure it out. It's L and I figure out a honk. It's T. Get out of here, losers. He said there can be no dispute that times are hard for many. Jobs are fewer and farther between. But that simply is no reason to bite one's thumb at the rule of law. In fact, I feel that adversity has the potential of right, forging a off, hardier God. individual and a more harmonious All right, family unit. Right, Thank God. Governor Wells came in for some criticism from certain sections, while others were quick to praise him for his commitment to straight talking. How either interpretation plays with the electorate remains to be seen. One thing is certain, however, and that is the current levels of crime are out of control. Join me for another news bulletin later. Ooh. Now, I believe, we have some more musical numbers. For the best music and the latest deals, stay with Behringer's Radio. I get the fuck out of there. About time. Come on, I'm wet through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, he got yellow fever the time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. 
Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the dames. Oh my god. Biff, you fat bastard. How you doing? Dogface, great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. <laughs> so, what's the beef? I need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right, I know them. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hawk some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Paulie. Uh, about that dough? Relax, just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classy ones, Mexican. You getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. You don't know about this? Yeah, yeah, I get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard enough. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. No, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. We do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. Tell me the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo. Uh -oh. oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. Oh, oh, they were wrong, messed with the wrong okay. motherfucker. Are oh, you bitch? You bitch. All right. Get fucked. Got him. My pleasure. Oh. Get out of here. Give him one more. There you go. Come on, we gotta teach these bugs a lesson. Climb over. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming, buddy. Oh, they got. Get your ass behind the thunder. You're gonna die here. You know that? Get your gas pump. He made it serious. You think I need telling? I go north. You go south. What? I go up. You go through there. Hey, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> he had no idea where you were at. That's funny. Oh. Fuck. You're fucked, assholes. Oh, that guy's on fire. All right, he looks on fire. Oh, shit. That's raw. Oh, go, 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 Oh, you little fucking dickhead. Oh! 
my god. How are you alive? Clear a path to Billy Tom. We get to that pump for all the other pumps. Take them down. We guys have some guns, some gun. No, no semi. Oh, that guy can burn alive, bro. Holy shit. Fucking dickhead. I gotta heal up. Look at this fucking bitch. I keep thinking C is crouched, bro. Where the fuck up, asshole? Is the guy over here alive? that guy doing oh he's the guy with the knife he was really gonna charge me with the knife what an idiot get the fuck out of here johnny get down oh come on come on get out of here shit we gotta get to a car tom scram oh that looked like a really nice car This car looks really nice. So careful, Tom. The road's a river. Don't worry, I got this. We cleaned him out. Oh my god, bro. Oh, you saw that right there? Come on, man. You ever seen guys piss their pants this quick? If you look through the rain, you can see it dripping out the back of their car. Bro, how am I supposed to catch up with these guys, bro? He's Fuck out the way! You oh, I ran over an old lady! Oh, that poor old lady, bro. She didn't fuck out the way. Come on, come on. We can't let him get away. What I'm trying to do, bro. This fucking car's not as fast as you think. They think you're going to get away, huh? They ain't seen you drive like I have. Oh, my God. We're right on their ass, dude. Oh, over. Son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. Mm. Go on a poppy top. No, 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 wait. Wait. I don't want to fucking die, man. Ooh. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. Guess I'm out. This one's finished, too. 
Oh, Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? For real, Bob. Yeah. Just, uh... Hey. Let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Jeez. Simple straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. Uh, that's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now he got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Pauly. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. Oh my he, God. Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look, we're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. <laughs> His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. Are you sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. Ooh. Adonis invested a lot of money in it over the years. So me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? If Morello wants to take businesses away from us, he'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can't send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get me. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. Mm. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. All right, let's go. Oh, shit. But all right, y'all, that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the, I think it's part three, I believe part three or four. I forgot which one it was, but I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Uh, it's a little bit shorter because I got, I literally worked almost 10 hours today at work. So I got to work really late, which means I got, I started recording this really late. It's almost about to be 11 and I still have to render this motherfucker and go to bed. So I can upload it tomorrow for you guys. But, um, 
If you guys enjoyed it, uh, okay, it's kind of pick up right now for me. Like when the guy didn't die, bro, I was like, oh shit, I, it, got, it got interesting again. Even though I already, I already played the game, I, like I said, I played it a long time ago. I forgot the story, but uh, story starting to pick up, which is cool. But if you guys enjoyed this part, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, guys, what you think so far. You have any other recommendations of what I'm gonna play after this? Because like I said, I don't think I'm gonna play Mafia two or three after this, just because um, I do remember those games, and I maybe one of these days I'll fucking check out the other two. Uh, but for now, it's just, uh, for right now, I just, I just feel like playing it, checking out the first one, uh, cause it's been so long, but, uh, other than that, man, uh, leave a, uh, subscribe. If you really enjoyed the video, I really appreciate it. But other than that, man, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.